Welcome back, everyone. I am the Moy Chicken, and we are back with more Demon's Crest. In the last episode, we fought a giant bug on a, pa on a tower, and we also fought a fireball and a forest. And now, if we look at our map, we can see that there was a new location. You can see it just, just to the north of the four icon. So, at this point of the game, I can potentially beat the game. I will get the bad ending, which is exactly what we will do today, because if I were to continue and beat the second boss in stage four, it would open up the rest of the game, and I wouldn't be able to get the worst ending. So let's go get the worst ending by going to the boss's lair way too early. <laughs> so we, you know, we, we land in this castle, we enter, pass this little skull, and then a boss appears. And there he is. It's the guy who shot us in the butt. Ah, you've arrived much earlier than I expected, Firebrand. But it is of little cons consequence. For this time, I shall clip your wings once and for all. So this dude is Phalanx. He is the current boss of the Demon Realm. He's the possessor... I, I, I suppose he is the possessor of the, uh... The... Well, no. He, he, the, those other guys had the crests, so... I don't know how he's the boss, but he is the boss. And uh, his shtick is swooping. He swoops, as like that. And your your job is to shoot him when he swoops. Also, I should use... Let's use the claw. So, there. That's what the claw does. I can now stick to walls. Yay. Um, it's moderately helpful in some places. I'm gonna stick with Buster, though. Uh, I need to get up, though. Like, the easiest way to the easiest way to fight this guy is to just sort of like let him swoop at you. Um, and then usually you can Oh yeah, that's right. You have to kinda like set his height. So it actually in the same way that red Ar armors do in Ghouls and Ghosts, um the height that they swoop to is set by your position in on the uh screen. So you can actually decide how far they will swoop down by just saying, by just like jumping when they start to swoop. So, well, I died. Okay, that, uh, that wasn't a great run. Let's try again. Um, so yeah, if you do that, you can kind of like decide how far up or down he goes, and it kind of it allows you to to manage the battle a little bit better. Suffice it to say, uh, Phalanx here is easier to fight than is an actual red armor. <laughs> I was I was actually playing uh. Ghosts and Goblins the uh the other night and um man that game is hard. <laughs> like I know that I know that the series is famous for its difficulty or whatever, but like <sighs> Okay, well let me let me back up a little bit. So something that has been uh, an idea that's been bounced around and that I've heard about before is the the sort of I guess two forms of gamers. More more often than not, people group it into casual or hardcore, which I think is a bit misleading. Um, I would say the general trait is that some gamers play games and want to beat them. Like, the fun comes from the fact that they're able to, able to succeed. Let me go ahead and use this. How do I use it? There we go. Um... The fact that the, the, the fun comes from the idea that they are able to overcome and win the day without too much, like, stress. So, in other words, video games are designed to de-stress and sort of make them happy. Then there's another type of game player that wants to overcome a great obstacle. And they don't mind if, you know, the, the odds are stacked against them provided they can eventually overcome. Now, uh, a term, I guess, that I have... I, I only recently heard, I don't know if it's actually in widespread use or not, but I, I kind of like it. It's the term, uh, masocore for a, for a type of gamer, so, like, a game can be... Like, a, the, the genre of a game could be massacore, and it refers to, like, I, I'm guessing that it's a combination of masochist and... Oh, I died again! Fudge. I might need to go get better potions, honestly, <laughs> to beat this guy. Uh, uh, let's do that. 
Mortal Kombat. Oh, I can't. Uh, I'm, okay, so I'm gonna have to stage select, but maybe I'll beat him this time. You never know. Um, anyway, so it's like a combination of masochist and hardcore. And I think both are valid, but I also think that there are definitely games designed for either group. And I, th this, I think this is sort of where my complaint about the, the term uh, casual versus hardcore comes in, because I feel like when I, when I first encountered the terms casual and hardcore years ago, um, I would have identified myself as a hardcore gamer, mostly because I just game a lot. Like, I was a frequent gamer, and so I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm probably hardcore because... I play a lot of games, um, but that's not really what the term means, at least not now. Um, it now Nowadays it seems to refer more accurately to this, like, uh, I guess, massacre um, uh, personality trait where, uh, where you want to prove yourself by overcoming something very challenging. And, I mean, I, I don't think anybody is necessarily completely one one or the other. It's a mix for everybody, but um, it's just sort of interesting to me that those, 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 uh, I guess, traits, like, show up. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, I, I died this time. Let's go get some potions. This isn't going so well. Select the stage. Let's go get some potions. We got money. Why not? Um... And, I, like, I mean, I, c I can name some games that I would describe as following this massacre trait. You know, stuff like like Dark Souls, or like Contra, or, um, what's another really good good game like that? Um, well, I was gonna say, uh, uh, well, I was gonna say a game that now I can't remember the name of. Um, uh, Sekiro, but that's, that's the, pretty much the same as Dark Souls. Um, or like like the Ninja Gaiden games that they that they released, uh, like not the NES ones, the later ones. Um, I want more herb, please. Herb, yes. More herb. Uh, yes. I think I want to say elixir is just oh, extra life. No. Um, ginseng. Uh, yeah, let's get one of those. All right, so we're we're pretty set in terms of a uh, health health stuff, so we should be able to beat him. Um, yes, and, and then, by comparison, there are other games that I would describe as not not Massacre. Uh, th this is where the term casual kind of comes in and sort of frustrates me, because I sort of feel like casual is sometimes used as like a rebuke. Kind of a situation where it's like, Oh, you're like like there's this joke about the idea of a filthy casual. Um as though you're somehow like it, it, it's designed to invalidate you. And it's kind of frustrating cuz it's like no, I just like games for different reasons than you do. And I don't think there's necessarily a a correct way to like games. I don't know, it just it bugs me. I hate I hate that kind of behavior where people will create, like, factions and whatnot, but whatever. Whatever, I'm just complaining. I'm just complaining while I'm fighting Phalanx. Uh, I actually thought he was easier than this, so I'm a little disappointed in my per my performance so far, so. That's a bit of fun. Whatever. It is what it is. Also, that thing I said about setting his height doesn't seem to be as uh, consistent as I thought it was, so maybe I was wrong about that. He seems to be swooping down to the ground a lot more than I thought he would. Um, if that's the case, because I feel like I've been off the ground most of the time. But I guess not. I guess not. You also notice that I'm not flying very much. A uh, reason for that is that, uh, it, I actually feel less mobile in the air against this boss. Because he's, he's obviously very mobile in the air. Um, and I, I feel like you're actually better served being on the ground because he is worse on the ground. Like, he never lands or anything, so... And with a game like this, you always just have to figure out when best to attack the boss. And for Phalanx here, it's when he swoops. So you're going to be able to get up, shoot him, and then get under his swooping. And he's kind of turning a little red. He's getting a little bit of a sunburn. We're getting there. We're getting there. Beat you. Come on. Oh, he's very sunburned. He's been out in the sun for way too long. 
way too long, this guy with a sunburn. Oh, I beat him. Okay. Good deal. I didn't even need to use any of those potions. Neat. I summon the power of the heavens! You're a demon. Why are you summoning the power of the heavens? Nope, nope, never mind. I guess it didn't work. What's going on here? Is this is this summoning the power of the heavens? Uh, nope. What? Am I not destined to be the one? Blarg! <laughs> and he explodes, as you do. So this is the bad ending. <laughs> Prepare to enjoy. So, Firebrand comes over here. He watches as the castle crumbles before him. He just watches and laughs, for he has defeated his adversary. He does not need to care any further. And there it goes. It crumbles down. Actually, if you look at his feet, he kind of looks like he's jumping up and down in joy. He's like, yay, 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 whoopee! All right, and then we fly away. <laughs> and the epilogue begins. Taken by surprise, the mighty phalanx was... destroyed by Firebrand before he could summon... The power of infinity. Oh yeah, I don't think they actually mentioned that. The idea is that all, when all the crests are combined, you get the power of infinity. His revenge complete. Firebrand left for... The demon realm to rest his wounded wings. They left for the... He's in the demon realm. Where's he going? That's weird. I think we're going to get some more cool art, if I remember correctly. Yeah, here we go. You guys remember this guy? It's Arma. Look at Arma. He's cool. Look how cool that art is. I love it. It's like something out of Breath of Fire 2. I never expected that Phalanx would be defeated. Oh, look at my tiny head. <laughs> It is written that the one who defeats the king shall rule. Uh, the next time it will be my turn. Okay. Half your body's on fire armor. With the defeat of Phalanx, the demon realm. lost all order, and fell into anarchy. Many now ask if living under the rule of Phalanx would have been worse than the hell they are. Kind of wish it's going faster because it's hard to read. Now confined to... Think that's it for the bad ending? Yes? So yeah, the first time I played this game, this was the ending I got, and I remember thinking, it's like, well, that didn't, that didn't feel great, and you could see in that ending sequence when Firebrand was, like, uh, flying around, that there were some areas that we didn't get to go to, like, there was the area up in the mountains, in that big lake north of the, um, the wind towers, there was a, uh, like, it looked like ruins, so I, after I got this ending, I looked around and um, tried to figure out uh, let's see is this am I playing the game again is this me again hang on oh no there's the ending scene. oh okay Somulo the dragon it's going to tell us the names of the bosses that was Somulo the dragon um, yeah I got that ending and I was like this doesn't seem like a good ending Seems like things are just as bad. I mean, admittedly, it is the demon realm. I don't expect the demon realm to not be chaotic, but this is not described very well. Hippogriff. Is that a hippogriff? I don't think that was a hippogriff. Oh, it's the snot monster. Ew, look at him. 
Look at him, he's gooey. It's Avnunu. <laughs> Watch out for Avnunu. Avnunu is here to climb up the walls and shoot out eyeballs. Um, he's like, you, over here, you, over here. It's B Belf. <laughs> Belf. Okay, so this was also another clue that I missed things. That's not a form I ever found. So I was like, well, who was that? It's Flame Lord. <laughs> Beware the dreaded Flame Lord. That's another one. I certainly didn't get that form. It's like a fish dude. Um, so the game does give you clues that there's more to learn. Scola. I wonder if that's supposed to be like Scylla and Charybdis. Um, and this guy's floating around. Look at him go. He's flip flapping around. Buzz buzz. Buzz buzz. You you can you can show up? What are you doing? And his he's just called a flyer. It's the flyer. <laughs> uh is that it? Is it gonna show fa oh yeah. So presented by Capcom. So at this point, um we have now seen the first ending, which is the the worst ending. Um so in the next episode I will start to perform the actions which will lead us to the middle ending. So I hope you'll come back and join me for that. I am the Boy Chicken. This is Demon's Crest. Thanks for stopping by.